Mobility. That's what everybody is chasing nowadays. Like, I need some mobility training. I need to stretch out. I, my hips feel tight. My shoulders feel tight. My back feels tight. Mobility. 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 Mo. Mobility. <laughs> Bad joke. So why, I don't know, why are we turning to all these mobility exercises, mobility training? What is mobility training? Is there such a thing? I really don't think there is. I mean, shocker, right? Sorry. Plot twist. No mobility training. Oh. If you have a good, solid strength training program, which we do, you don't need to add mobility, extra mobility time to your session. When we build upon core stability, we get mobility. And I think that's the reason why for a lot of people, especially the fitness enthusiasts, and I think about myself back in the day when I used to do barbell training, that's why you probably want more of a warm-up before you go barbell training. Because a lot of people don't get that proper core recruitment. They're not getting that stability because they're not thinking about the intent of an exercise. They're thinking about the task of an exercise. So if I've got the barbell on my back and I'm going down into my squat, I'm not really thinking so much, unless I'm a trained professional and I'm a competitive athlete, I'm not thinking so much about how I drive my feet through the ground so that I can start getting the core engaged. Right? And it's not because I'm squeezing any muscle, it's because I'm using my feet. So a lot of people, they're squatting just to get the squats in, just so they can have a successful leg day. And then there's compensations that happen. And those compensations can kind of mean my knees are a little achy, but guess what? My hips are a little tight. My hips don't feel as loose as they should. So when we're here at Fitness Line Down, we use the load as resistance, yes, but as feedback, absolutely. So when I do a squat, like a bear hug squat, and now I'm pulling the bag into my body and I'm ripping the bag, I've got my feet engaged. So I've got my glutes, they're, they're getting fired up. I've got my lats, which are the top part of my core, and everything in between, that this squat is not just a strength exercise, but it's also improving hip mobility. And it's improving hip mobility, why? Because of that core stability. Oh. Maybe you should dedicate some time at home. Maybe you like to go out for a long walk. Before you go out for your long walk, why don't you grab yourself an ultimate sand bag? Really, buy one, fill it up with a little bit of sand, do some of the things that we talk about, our dead bugs, our hip bridges, our around the world, so many of these different drills that focus on core stability and that core stability gives you that mobility. If you're out running, do some of these exercises beforehand. Don't static stretch. Static stretch, outdated. We could talk about that at another time. When you do movement strength, that's gonna help you take care of mobility, check, stability, check, functional strength, Check, check. Balance, check. I mean, the list goes on and on. People at home, mobility. Get it in your strength training session. Save time, save energy. You're welcome.